okay? So that was that was it, man. That was my that's what brought me down, man. But let me get back to this real quick, alright? So we got the plot points. I read everything off of my hate plate. And let me just go back over real quick and we'll go back down. To to bring it to a uh, eight uh, eight point five, it has uh the Superman score written down. And ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm one of those. I'm one of those Superman fans. Um <clears throat> I I don't I don't like mixing. Okay, the the old with the new. I can't I can't stand that. My thing is, I've, I've been a Superman fan for a very very long time. Okay, um, I guess you could say right around like maybe 19, 1994, 95 is when I became a Superman fan. Okay, um, right after I watched Batman: Mask of the Phantasm in theaters. I got into DC Comics, so Batman was my original like love. That was my passion. That was my joy. After watching Matt, uh, Batman: Mask of the Phantasm, getting the comic book, and just you know, rolling to the theater, you know what I'm saying, and enjoying that with my dad, it was just one of those moments where I was like, "Yo, this is this is forever changing," you know. And then I started reading comics, man. But I started out with obviously with X Men, then went into Batman, then got into Superman. Superman, the movie, and all that stuff. You box it up in that box set and you leave it alone. Okay, there's no mixing, and that's why I loved about Zack Snyder with Man of Steel and Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Um, it was a new experience for a new generation, number one, and also an experience for you know Superman fans. <clears throat> and I understand people were saying, you know, if you have a score, you know, like Indiana Jones, uh, 007, um, Ghostbusters, you know, Back to the Future, Men in Black, all this stuff, you have to. You have to keep the the music because it gives you that that moment when you're watching it. It gives you that point of nostalgia, but it, it doesn't apply here. And the reason why it doesn't apply here is because it's it's um it's a comic book. Comic books are ever evolving. We have those different you know um, moments and ages inside of comic books to where they 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 continue on. They don't they don't stay in the past. They move on and they go forward and they have new identities man and that's how the stories stay you know um on top and that's why marvel that's why marvel's so good okay that's why the walking dead lasts you know that's the reason why is because you know they understand that you know everything that they do is new you know the only thing that you have a theme song for with marvel is the marvel cinematic universe and we heard that and eventually you know hopefully that thing will evolve with phase uh you know phase uh four and five and six seven eight nine ten and we'll have new stories, you know, but you don't continue hearing the same score and the same theme over and over, you know, look at Thor, Thor has changed, look at Captain America, Captain America has changed, look at Black Panther now, Black Panther has a, has a brand new score, you know, they didn't go back and use old stuff from, you know, the comic book uh, movies and stuff, you know, they, they, they moved past that, so that's what brought it down, man, to 8.5, man, after that, 8 out of 10 was um, the main character with no risk, <clears throat> main character had no risk like i said um anything that happened to him and we'll talk about that uh on, on this one um everything was moved forward you know the parents had took away something from him you know uh, he got it back immediately uh he's in love with you know a, a certain character his parents are killed his relationship with that character in order to you know have the generational seed to birth uh superman is all cut off because the main character um, it was just, it was just ridiculous, man, with that, man. Just no risk, man. Um, there was a chance, you know, a time where he's about to get shot in his back, the bullet curve. There was a time when um, he went to the cold, he didn't even shiver. Nothing. <laughs> I'm being serious, man. It's, it's, it's that bad. It's that bad, man. Um, what brought it down to a 7.5 out of 10 stars was Adam Strange. He's an annoying character, annoying character as of right now in the pilot. I don't know how else he's going to change. I don't know if he's going to change at all. But he was just absolutely terrible. It was to the point where I was just like, "What the hell am I watching? I want to get, I want to get away. I want to go and run, and bury my my head into my pillow." Um, and then after that, the seven out of ten stars uh, that brought it down to that was the parents' death, man. Um, obviously, you know with these plates, this is pretty much everything that brought it there. And and also this, I'll talk, I'll talk to you about this one with the love side. That's what keeps it at the uh, the seven out of ten stars. But um, you don't have to have the parents, you know, killed in order to have. Um, um, the, the, the character be relatable, you know? Why, why can't you have a, a, a character that is from the Superman um, uh, bloodline and, and he, his parents don't die? 
Why not? You know, anyway. All right, things that I loved. And we'll start on a new video for now. Oh, Barry! Oh!